Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you were here already. I apologize. It won't happen again. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Wait! Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. As you wish. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please? Over here, please? Madam President! Please! Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs> We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are. The moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. We don't 
don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. Surrender now, or we will open fire! There's no turning back now. We are here to demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps across the country. We are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? All teams, hold your fire! Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. this lieutenant it's none of your business you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free that is my business it's not a man it's a machine that's what I thought for a long time but I was wrong deviant's blood may be a different color than mine but they're alive what's up lieutenant Ran out of whiskey, so you came here looking for trouble instead? Oh, very nasty, Connor. Is that the best your super program can do? I thought you were more sophisticated than that. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Step away from the ledge. Go home, Hank. You can still save your life. I'm faster than you, and I don't feel pain. You don't stand a chance against me. 
You know, ever since Cole died, I've been nothing but a coward. Just wanted to destroy myself, lost track of the man I was. But you know what? You don't fucking scare me, Connor. I remember who I am now. Come on. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him and this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. I'd have done anything to bring him back, too. To hold him in my arms just one more time. But humans don't come back, do they? Just a machine. You're a machine, Connor. Just a machine. Finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. That should do it. We all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing.
Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I... I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history.
won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus! Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. All right. All right, I accept. You made the right decision. It seems to be all over here in Detroit. After negotiations with the android known as Marcus, the androids have surrendered peacefully, and military vehicles have been sent to collect them. The insurrection is over. Why did you do that? We lost. Sacrificing ourselves wouldn't achieve anything. We always said our cause was more important than our lives. Our people died here because they believed in you. Our place was by their side. Well, that's it. I, I did what you asked. You know, the problem with you androids is you believe everything we tell you. You didn't think I was going to let you live after everything that happened. I have orders, you know. No! No! I <laughs> Seriously fucked up, Marcus. Clean up this mess. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. 
However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. So glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK-900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And 
and equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. <laughs> 